Stephen Page's latest project involves one of his other great loves, the love of food. More specifically, tracking down and digging into an assortment of underground, little-known, and off-the-beaten-path track eateries all over North America. It is called The Illegal Eater. It premiered last night on Travel and Escape. Stephen Page joins us this morning. Hello. Good morning. Nice to see you in this capacity, the world of television. I know. I'm, I'm part of your world now. You are. And, but I, I said this to you during the break. I was like, this is every television person wants to do this. It involves travel, it involves food, and it involves music. Yeah, this it's is perfect. Everything. I mean, yeah, to be able to do all those things together, um, you know, you and I share this, share this, that same thing where we're, you know, we're doing straddling music and TV and so on, and that's pretty cool, and it's it's uh, kind of a dream come true. Well, I wonder, so if um, you know your music life sort of led up to this, because I know when I was on tour, my favorite part of the day was well, any meal. That's sort of because everything right. else is sort of the hamster wheel. You do the same thing, you do the same that's thing. Right. But then you're in an interesting place and you can experience. Well, and it's so easy to not experience that. It's really easy mm -hmm. to, you know, get in, pull in in the van or the tour bus or whatever else. And you pull in off, off the highway and every city can look the same. You know, you can stay at the venue and eat there backstage, the same rubber chicken every night. Or you can go and, uh, you know, eat at a chain restaurant. But it was always really important for me, especially kind of in, when, when touring was at its most intense, was to get out and see the city and the best way to do that for me was was finding best places to eat and, you know lots of great online resources for that um, but what I found out was that there are all these kinds of underground and illegal restaurants that kind of really make up the the flavor of a city okay so this is the premise of the show um, so what does illegal mean this means like not not licensed yeah in the broadest sense I mean and that's one something we try to get to every episode is like okay so what makes this illegal right um, the most general is, say, someone is running a restaurant out of their home. It might be a you know, a little supper club. Right. Really, imagine you had a uh, dinner party at your house, but you charged everybody 100 bucks for it, and you served alcohol. Well, there's two infractions there, but there are more dangerous things. Like, there could be things that are, you know, are more illicit things, you know, people serving things they're not supposed to. Uh, like, I think I read Moonshine. Is it okay to say that? Yeah, we had a fair <laughs> amount of Moonshine. Some Moonshine. Uh, that's me enjoying. I think you, that were you enjoying some I, moonshine? I, I was not. Oh, I was just okay. enjoying the music with a Cinco de Mayo celebration. But there, they had some fantastic food. Just uh, these these um, tables set up on the street, and this is in downtown Los Angeles. You know, no no um, health code right. approval or anything else. If the health department came, they just pack up their table and they'd run off, and they'd set up in another part of town. Uh, but some of the best food I've ever eaten in my life. That was like two bucks. Somewhere else we might go, and it might be like in a huge barn with 200 people, and uh, you know, course upon course upon course with some high-end chef cooking. But they might be selling, you know, giving us something like wild game that you can't you can't actually usually have in a restaurant, or you know, again, um, all kinds of. Uh, Alcohol concoctions, uh, the, you know, the real deal absinthe and right. that kind of stuff. Oh, yes, the Van Gogh stuff. Yeah, uh, I, which is why I, I, <laughs> your ears I, look, I have a new one. Your this, ears this one look is, intact, Yeah, luckily. no, this one I just put, I put on, had Rick Baker do for me earlier. <laughs> have you ever been, uh, up until now, been too frightened to try anything? Is there anything you just said, you know what, I just can't go there? Um... I was worried that, that there might be something like an endangered species. That would be the thing, like something that was like really going to ethically right. bother me. And I actually did try shark's fin, which, uh, you yeah, know. It's, yeah, that's sort of a gray area. Exactly, because right. I don't want to be judgment, uh, judgmental of another culture. Sure. But, you know, it is it, the practice of, of harvesting them is pretty intense and not exactly up my alley. But it was in San Francisco. It was available. Uh, and it was in the process of being banned. They had one week left that they could sell this. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like they were getting new shipments in. So my job was to at least try it and tell the audience what I thought, which was essentially there are lots of other wonderful things to eat from right. the sea that are not quite as inhumane. And what about, what's the sort of weirdest, most maybe we, gag one? Yeah, there, was, there certainly was a gag moment for me. Like a few gag moments only in the fact that I, of all foods, I don't like rhubarb. I don't know. What? I don't know why. I don't even know. I know I'm supposed to like it. I mean, it is sour. No, it's I, the sour. Like a, I like, but it's the like the way it gets gelatinous. <laughs> actually, kind of like just gets <laughs> gets the punching bag a little bit. I just, but that, as far as the gross out factor, it's not what the show is about. But some of the meals actually, you know, the chefs who are doing this for their customers. They're trying to challenge them. And one of the things I had was the was balut, which is a, a Filipino delicacy. Right. It's an it's a, a an egg with a fully grown duck embryo inside of it. 
which I thought, you know, I've, and I've actually yeah. seen it on TV before. It's kind of a, one of those fear factor type things. I would have trouble with that. Yeah, I had a bite, opened it up, like, you know, it tasted like a, a egg. I like eggs. Uh, and then I felt the feathers and, oh, and the beak. Oh. There's a little face, okay. little baby face. <laughs> you know, you, if you watch the episode, yeah. you'll see, which I think it's the next episode. So that's, uh, that's on Travel uh, and Escape, uh, t uh, Tuesdays at 7, and again on uh, Saturday nights. I full on gag. Just she, sheer, absolute shame. See, too. and this is why we want to watch the show. At least one of the reasons. So you experience stuff that we probably never will. Uh, it airs Tuesdays 7-11 on Travel and Escape, The Illegal Eater. And by the way, features uh, music from Steven. So. Brand new theme song. So, yeah. It's the whole deal. Please come back. I'd love to. I'll come back and sing for you next okay, time. Okay, please do.